Hi guys, I'm Lena and I wanted to make a short video about my artistic evolution. At the beginning of my AP year, I had a portfolio filled with character studies. The, draw the drawings came from multiple sources of inspiration such as music. I was listening to comic books, cartoons, and other styles from other artists that influenced my own style. In AP, when the pieces were critiqued, I received feedback like the background was empty, making the pieces look like sketches and unfinished. In terms of composition, a lot of my drawings featured a figure in the center of the piece, leading to something we call the bullseye effect. The problem with the bullseye effect is it creates a strong point of interest in the center, but a lack of visual movement throughout the piece. Everyone thought the figures were drawn and shaded well, but that the composition and background needed resolution. After many months of practice and application, I feel as if I've come to a strong resolution. Keeping the ideas in mind from the critiques, I use the following techniques. I started applying the concepts of foreground, middle ground, and background to create a sense of depth in my pieces. I began using Photoshop as a tool to layer imagery together to construct an image with a strong foreground and background. And I'm really glad that I learned these Photoshop skills early on freshman year in Art 1 and junior year graphic design because it made applying these techniques a lot easier and more seamless in AP art. Um, in part two of this video, you'll see my process in art. And I'm here to talk to you today about my piece on obsessive compulsive disorder. When you can connect to the piece, you have a better chance of making your idea clear to the person who sees it when finished. Now this is the finished piece, but as you can see down to the bottom right, it's built up on multiple layers. And when I take those layers away, there's a drastic difference. Every layer is very important. This one's about text. This one's to darken the line work. This is to give a little bit more shading and depth. And this is to put the focal point right here. The compositional elements that I use here is repetition. In the text in the background, I use repetition to create a sense of flow from left to right through the piece. Texture. As you can see, I use similar texture to shade the sweater, hair, wall, shadows, and etc. I kept them similar to make sure that they didn't clash and take away from where I wanted the tension to be. I used value to make sure that the focal point was right here. The man's face, finger, and the light switch. To summarize, connecting to a piece can make it turn out stronger. Having layers on top of each other helps give the piece depth. With this piece, repetition, texture, and value were key elements that helped make the piece look finished. Thanks for watching.